An arist who has left a 29-year-old woman fighting for her life after he aired her several times, sometimes with a 29-inch long broomstick, was also once accused of SAing his younger sister. In a sickening case that has sent shockwaves throughout France, Umar N broke into the woman's home in the northwestern city of Cherbourg, grabbed her by the neck and hit her repeatedly in the face and across her body. The horrified woman was thrown across the room and aired several times by the scumbag attacker who also used a broomstick to both SA and torture her. This sick barbaric attack has left the victim with horrific injuries including a perforated colon, small intestine and diaphragm as well as fractured ribs. It's now emerged that this scumbag, his name again, Umar N, presumably, we're not told his full last name, for his security. Oh, he gets protected. Oh, isn't that nice? Well, it's emerged that the scumbag is already under investigation for SAing his 12 year old sister and apparently that SA attack or attacks happened last year it's also emerged that this scumbag has previously been sentenced five times by the juvenile courts for violence and damaging properties apparently he's 18 years old at this point and he was previously accused of aring a minor in 2019 at a boarding school but the case was dismissed by the prosecution on the grounds of insufficient evidence I'm going to say what an absolute shame and I know that that's not strong enough. What a travesty. Of course I'm speculating when I say that it seems to me the now 18 year old who presumably would have been 14 back in 2019 I'm thinking that he probably was guilty. I don't know that for sure of course but he was accused of aring a minor in 2019 at a boarding school. I presume he would have been 14 years old at that point. The case was dismissed because of lack of evidence but I would think that at this point if he's that barbaric that sick that psychopathic to allegedly are a 29 year old woman in her own home if i understand correctly in cherbourg north france beat her and used a broomstick both to torture her and to essay her subsequently causing massive injuries to this young woman fractured ribs perforated colon, small intestine, and diaphragm, and all of the psychological trauma that's caused by being subjected to such an horrific and disgusting, vile, barbaric attack. So, apparently, he aired somebody in 2019, and allegedly, he essayed his own 12-year-old sister last year. That incident, that attack, is currently under investigation. I don't know, man. My judgment could be wrong, of course, merely an opinion, merely speculation, but my judgment is this sick C-U-N-T is 100% guilty of everything he's been accused of. People don't go around accusing people for no good reason. Why would a 12 year old girl suddenly claim that she was essayed by her older brother? Unless there was truth to the subject. We're told that the attack on the 29 year old woman occurred at her own home in Cherbourg on August the 4th. The personal details of the victim of course are being kept anonymous but we're told that she was left naked and in a bloody mess on the floor of her apartment. She was able to reach a telephone. She was able to call medics. She was rushed to hospital in Cherbourg. We're told that she's still in a coma. That's incredible. I, I'm wondering if it was medically induced. And we're told that she's fighting for her life 11 days after she was operated on due to her extensive injuries and the operations went on for several hours. The investigators are shocked. They have never seen so much barbarity. Yes, this is absolutely barbaric. And of course, I've got to say full condolences obviously to the victim let's hope and pray she does make a full recovery and that she receives all of the treatment that she's going to need moving ahead medical treatment but also psychological treatment no doubt i would think and of course she's going to need the love and support of her family her friends her colleagues her employers this kind of thing hopefully her anonymity is maintained if that's what she chooses perhaps she doesn't a lot of victims choose to publicly discuss their attacks for the benefit of wider society to increase awareness to remind us that these sick events do happen and as we're told here this was a particularly barbaric attack by someone who frankly is a psychopathic scumbag serial arist in my estimation we're told that the scumbag suspect umar was arrested at his mother's home a few days after the attack the 18 year old's phone geolocated his proximity as being that of the victim's apartment so there seemingly is 
ample evidence to charge this scumbag to seek justice and of course i do hope and pray that the victim's able to recover from her coma again she's currently in a coma and able to strengthen the evidence perhaps more weight can be given to the allegations made against this scumbag by his 12 year old sister there's an investigation in regards to the alleged essay of his 12 year old sister so hopefully these allegations strengthen that investigation and perhaps i'm just guessing here but perhaps there's cause to revisit the previous R allegation which occurred in 2019 at which point I believe he would have been 14 years old. He's accused of having R-ing I believe a student at boarding school. The charges were dismissed due to a lack of evidence but perhaps this sick attack will change that. Maybe it doesn't. I really don't know. We're told that when investigators were interrogating this scumbag he denied the attack. He showed no remorse, no emotion but then the investigators presented their evidence or at least part of their evidence the victim was able to tell police officers that she had seen the prime suspect in Cherbourg prior to the attack had seen him she didn't know him but she had seen him in some capacity again she's now in a coma so I'm wondering if she's in a medically induced coma I guess I'm hoping that she is I'm guessing that if she is in a medically induced coma that the doctors felt that that's the right thing to do that's really all the information that we have at this point I'm going to wrap things up. It is disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. And it's such a shame that these things happen. The only thing that we know about the attacker is his first name. The fact that he's currently under investigation in regards to the SA of his 12-year-old sister. And also that he was charged with R back in 2019 when he was 14, perhaps 15 years old. That's all we know. Certainly from this article, we've not been provided with a photo of the scumbag in question. We're not told what he does for a living or anything like this. I'll tell you what I'm wondering. I'm wondering if he's a citizen of France or if he's a refugee, if he's an immigrant. Has he been welcomed into the country and then betrayed the country by performing this hideous act or actually potentially mul multiple hideous acts? I don't know. Maybe he is a citizen. I really don't know. Might even delete that part out. So I'm going to wrap things up here again. Best wishes, thoughts and prayers for the victim. Let's hope she makes a full recovery and gets the support that she's going to need. Moving forward, let's hope justice is served that this animal, this absolute sick C-U-N-T is locked up for decades. I presume there won't be the, a life sentence for this act. I would argue that there ought to be, but I really do hope that justice is served. And once this scumbag is incarcerated, let's hope that his fellow inmates, as well as the guards, have plenty of, of opportunity to have nice little cozy chats with him. Talk to him about what he allegedly did to his 12-year-old sister. Talk to him about him being charged with R in two 2019 when he was only 14 or 15 years old and mostly talk to him and express their anger their feelings in regards to his barbaric attack on a 29 year old woman who's still currently in a coma gonna wrap things up if you appreciate the coverage please do like comment subscribe share the video and take care